been an extra sample for you, Houston. Scoop's got dirt in it. Well done, Scoop. This whole notion of growing plants in lunar soil has actually some rich history in space exploration and space biology. So it turns out we never ever asked the question that if we're going to go to the moon and live there, can we grow plants in lunar soil? It just was never thought about. Rob Furl and I wrote our first proposal back in 2010. So I imagine the first time they got our proposal, they're like, these people want to do what? Well, the first one was rejected, and it was rejected and said, well, can't you do all these experiments in the simulant? Well, yes, we can, and so that's what we did. And so we did a whole series of experiments with this other material, and we did a, we thought, just a beautiful job of, of sending that back. And uh, we got another rejection, <laughs> and they said, well, you know, this is, this, is, this is pretty okay, but I'm not sure this is something that we really need to do right now. We cried. Rejection and resubmission is actually a reasonable part of our world. It actually makes the science better once you get a chance to do it. Somewhere in the neighborhood of probably late 2018, when NASA started spooling up again with an interest to the moon, Rob and I started talking, well, you know, maybe it's time to dust off the proposal concepts and uh, put together a new package. One of the things that we adapted over time was how much we asked for. And we developed techniques that allowed us to grow our kinds of plants in as little as one gram per plant of the soil. When you only have a gram of material, that's a tiny amount. That's like a fifth of a teaspoon. I mean, it's tiny. And that made the sort of initial ask to be enough to grow four plants this time it got funded, or not funded, I should say, it got approved. So receiving the package was really pretty cool and amazing. I mean, you can imagine opening up a package and holding in your hands the moon. We asked for four grams, and they gave us 12. They saw that what we had proposed for four grams would be better, more richly informed, if they gave us some other samples to go with it. So not only to say, do plants grow in lunar soil, but do they grow in soils from various lunar missions, which came from different parts of the moon. So that you can already see makes the science a little more rich, a little more detailed, a little more comparative. Humans are explorers. That's what's next. If we want to explore another planetary surface, we're gonna to have to grow plants to sustain us. It's a real honor to feel like we are part of the lunar legacy and got to play a small role in, in what will take humans off planet. Mm -hmm.